Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, last government. And this project cost the state about 13 billion 500 uh, naira. And um, uh, since this inception of the new government, we have paid off the remaining balance. And for you to know that this government placed um, high I mean, top priority in the water sector, every month the state paid about three the state paid 350 million for the maintenance and operation of this uh, project. That is to show that uh, the government um, is, um, is placed high I mean, regard in providing clean potable water for the people of Kogi State. Thank you very much for coming. I will leave you to, with um, the state management to explain the, I mean, the engineering part of it. I'm a lawyer anyway, though lawyers are fitting everywhere, but uh, he will explain to you. This is uh, our model, and uh, I will hand over to my second to show you the detail about this place. Collins? To Greater Lokoja Water Supply Treatment Water Site. Here, that we are seeing is the intake structure where we mounted our intake where we take the raw water for treatment. This is River Niger. So when we extract raw water here for treatment, the water comes straight to the well grating where it is connected to the chemical house where the chemicals and the raw water that is extracted from the River Niger meet at the first point of the contact for treatment. Apart from the well grating, where the water mix with the chemicals from the chemical house, we also have the clarifloculators, three in numbers, where the water is still undergoing treatment. Apart from this, we also have the uh, gravity filter house where the water is being filtered. Inside this gravity filter house we have eight filter beds where these waters are being filtered. Behind it is a clear water tank where the clean waters are being stored. After this we have the intake well second pump stations where we have our pump, high lift pumps that pumps this water to our reservoir where we, which we have in town, tank A. And then in tank A we have other, we have a, a pump station there too that boosts this water to our second reservoir tank that is located along Manpati Road. We we'll call it tank B. And from there, water is being distributed to Lokoja envi environs. So all these that we have inside here are all on site. If time will permit us, we will go to see these are our intake, our clarifloc letters. At the moment now, we are operating on this but for future expansion, which we know, this provision was also made that in the future, when local data will expand as we are expecting, there is a provision for two extra clarifloc letters. So if time will permit us, we'll go around to show you all this. Thank you. Take maybe some of this uh, from dams also. So, but when the last uh, government administration came in, they now thought that the water we are getting there is not enough, except we involve the state in this type of uh, uh, big scheme. So that is the reason why we have this uh, greater Lukoja water, so that we can have enough water for the people of uh, Kogi State. Anyway, just as you rightly explained, we are going to go on the second phase of it. That is reticulation to go around the whole Lukoja town. So with that, right now we are still getting water, but you know, as we are increasing in population, there has to be reticulation, and it's going to cost the government about four billion or 4.5 billion. So we have put everything in place, and maybe by ne this time next year, I think we'll go. The water will go around the whole state. Mm. Tell of where we are now. 
And if you have time, we may see two or three things, which by capturing them, you will be able to know what is here but, uh, as on the model. As a matter of fact, what this government has done is to exit the contract through the payment to the contractor, the full payment that they are entitled to for the contract. And not only that, the operation and maintenance contract, which has been on the ground before the government came on board, is in progress. And that's why you still see the white men who consulted it still on, right, on, on site, maintaining and operating it before the articulation comes on board. Because if we take it just like that, before reticulation, everything you see here is on computer. We have not gotten the exact man, uh, manpower to be able to man the computer. They are now here training for that computerization to be mastered before they can leave it for the indigents to manage. So it's highly computerized. Anything that functions here can be operated from just one point. Stop the water, start the water, stop the light, start the light. At any point, it's, it's working that way. It's not just ordinary. So by the time we even visit the first site, you see what I'm saying at work. Yeah, if you look at uh, the meeting point, that is the confluence point. The river Niger and Benue met there. And obviously you would think the two rivers will mix right from that point. But uh, for now, I, 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 I know now that... Uh, it is only in humans that we have uh, the identity problem. Rivers also have it. I looked straight down there, about one and a half kilometers away, and the two rivers still refuse to mix. They maintain the identity. That is talking tourism. Yes, question and answer. You have. Arthur Gowon from the Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria. Um, I would like to ask a question, the Commissioner, please. When we went to Benue State, Makudi Greater Waterworks, we saw that the federal government made a lot of contribution there. We don't know if the federal government also helped support you one way or the other, or if you did everything on your own. Thank you. This should be paramount. You have done well to have continued this project. Secondly, while we were at the bank of the river, where we take the raw water from the river Niger, why would I have been tempted to go there because we are thirsty to drink from the river Niger? But the processes that took us from that very point to the final point shows that we have to be patient in government when they are doing something that's going to be useful to the people in future. Because if you are told that in the seven days you will not die of you know, lack of water, but in the sixth day you have a clean water, you need to be patient. Finally, why did you... Plans, let me see. To cite something like this, even if it is smaller, no matter how compact it is, in these rural villages, because they are also entitled to good water. And when finished, I don't know when that will come, we are going to 90,000. Was there a feasibility study to know the amount of water that people around Lokoja here, because I know this will serve uh, the city, will consume in a day before this thing was cited? Another one, very uh, quickly, is... Uh, Sometimes we will see projects like this, and uh, one government will come, another one will say it's a tall dream, we cannot achieve it, and they will just abandon it. Is there a plan to sustain this after this government? And the pipeline reticulation, how soon are we expecting it? Thank you. Barista Hadiza Unotu Mohammed, Commissioner for Water Resources, Kugistit. I want to give the answer for the first question that. Uh, that uh, the other was the name. Okay. Um, this project, the whole uh, funding of this project is being done by Koji State. No, as no financial assistance from the federal government. This is the state project, the Greater Lokoja Water. That is why we call Greater Lokoja Water because it's funded and it's being funded again by the state government for the people of Koji State. Then the second issue, the second question about um, uh, project being completed. You see, this administration, uh, if, you see, if you see the template we are working with, that we are not after you know, abandoning uh, a project because it's a waste of uh, resources. We manage the little resources we have, so therefore any project that we meet on ground, we try to complete it before we embark on new project. 
There's no need for you to embark on new project while you leave the old one, which is also important and beneficial to the state. So what the government is doing is to finish the uh, abandon, uh, is the, to finish the uncompleted project before we embark on a new project. And then after that, our intention is that these Chinese people we engage them to maintain. That's what we call operation and maintenance agreement that we have with them. Since two years that uh, this project has been done, he, the Chinese people have been maintaining the project and we have been paying. That's why I told you that, that every month the state paid 350 million for the maintenance and operation. So we have no intention of abandoning the project. This is the standard we have. We say stand, standing order by His Excellency Captain Idris Wada that every month such amount must be paid for the maintenance and operation continuously for, the, for lifespan. So we don't have intention of uh, there. And then as, well, later on, the Chinese people, like, uh, Chinese people are going to you know, hand over to Kogi state people when we send them on training and when we know that, yes, they are capable and fit to maintain it, they will now um, take it, terminate our agreement with the Chinese. But for now, we have no intention to terminate the agreement with them. We want them to keep on maintaining it so that they will impact their knowledge on our people and then so that they can take over when they are leaving. Thank you very much. The other question will be answered by my... Thank you very much, Your Honorable Sir, and my Honorable Commissioner, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen of the press. As a matter of fact, environmental assessment as called, described by you, was well done or carried out on this project. What you saw as flood last year occurred in this place at about 45 years ago. And it was the history that was taken for it in the environmental assessment. Because at the time of 45 years ago, there was no documented evidence that could be laid upon for assessment scientifically, as is done now. And at that time, it was thought by the history that before that occurrence would come again, it would take about the next 10 years. But unfortunately, it happened last year. And you could see, despite the preparation, the world around us called Nigeria made for the, 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 the flood this year. It didn't come. So the people here who are at the conference, who are at the point of receiving the greatest imp uh, uh, impact of this flooding, in Nigeria, have it in their archive historically that it happens within 45, 49, 45, 49 years. So it will not happen again by history anyway. Before we get it again, it will be about 45 years from now. So that is the impact assessment. We have it historically and it was taken note of. This embankment that is being or was to be embarked upon before the next happening. It's already started because of the much noise heard about it occurring, even when the citizens of Lokoja believe it couldn't have occurred this year. So seriously they did believe, but we, the government did not believe, and went on to include the embankment uh, project onto it. And before the embankment took place, now it was to take place, the point of commencement of embankment was already taken by water. Otherwise, by now, would have seen this embankment at a stage that will let you know that this very government in power now is committed to sustaining the goodness, the development of this very project to eternity. As a matter of fact, the embankment will commence by this month end because materials for embankment have already been brought to site and it will take at the point we are still seeing water. But by the study scientifically now conducted, before the end of this month, that water would have receded to a point where our embankment by planning will take off. And it's also a gigantic project, which by next year, if you come here this time, you will see that the embankment, which I mistakenly called a mountain to our August visitor, was not a mountain but embankment so-called, will be in place. And it will then know, we will all know that this government is very serious about it right now and to eternity. There's a question that I need to answer. That my name is Engineer Emmanuel Steven. That uh, I am Alaji Haya Ali Utanko, the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Water Resources. Sorry, please. That if such project is being planned for other 
villages, that it should not be only the state capital. I want to tell you that an MOU has been signed for a greater water plant at Ayangba and environs. You understand? It's not only the water supply will not be limited only for the state capital. There are plans to extend it to all other villages. We have Omi Dam, water will be then Sosara Dam that will serve the central area, Omi Dam will serve the western area, and then the Okura water scheme will serve the eastern area. So there is plans for the government to extend portable water to all the citizens of the state. Thank you very much. What we just said uh, the monthly operational around 50 million naira. Uh, that's commendable considering the amount. But I'm also surprised that with that amount, a greater percentage of the town is yet to have water. Why is it so? Your name? Tijani Mohamed, Foreign Minister of Information. Still Alaji Haya Tanko, Permanent Secretary Minister of Water Resources. Um, the question being asked about water not being gotten during the time of outage of electricity. As a matter of fact, as we are standing, you can hear the sound all around here. This is because the gen sets for serving this water to the town is in place. They are all in place. There are about three of them. Very giant things. 1,000 kVA. 1, kVA for each. And uh, when you don't have water and the diesel is being talked about, it's not the diesel per se, people don't understand. It's the reticulation that we have on ground now that causes that. As a matter of fact, the reticulation in town presently is done mostly by the owners of houses. Even when we cried against it, it's done by the owners. This will soon be out of place because they are not correctly done. And it tells a lot on the the speed the water takes to reach your houses. This is what we are seeing. And so when we don't have light supporting the electricity within the town, you begin to notice this. Those who live around here cannot talk of that because the gen set is in place to pump water to the tank, the tank A, tank B, that delivers water to the various places in town. But you need the electricity support to drive them to the various units of homes, which are wrongly piped. And the little piping that was done by government does not have that problem around here. When the reticulation proper, which is otherwise known as piping, which I was referring to, comes on board, you will see that this will be no more. And the reticulation activity, by the intention of government, when it commences, it doesn't take three months or four months to finish. It's already on, online for it to come on board. And as soon as it comes, we're thinking by now it will have been reticulated. The engineers that have the study, the research, and everything to commence it will soon start it before the end of the year. And the reticulation <coughs> will be the answer to the problem you were trying to insinuate. It is not a diesel. All right. No, 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 no. no. Uh, gentlemen of the press, we now invite. Uh, is it because the uh, Honorable Commissioner for Water Resources is a lawyer, and I'm sure those who have some tried knowledge of law will understand what I'm about to say. Res ipsa loquito, which means the thing speaks for itself. I'd like to thank the Kogi State Government and to urge you to proceed speedily with the reticulation plants that you have. Yesterday we were at um, the Kogi State Polytechnic and the issue of water supply came up. Uh, they in fact complained that on some occasions they do have low pressure. Uh, and that's, that's a major uh, beneficiary of your water scheme. Uh, the same way you probably will have them elsewhere in other parts of town and they're having these challenges. Uh, so we do hope that you proceed with that because this is a massive project. A, there's no question about that. Uh, the continuity that has brought this about is also very commendable. And as I said at the beginning, and as I said at the beginning, res ipsa loquito. Honorable Commissioner, congratulations. Thank you.